What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Unchained Ramirez. She is currently in the item shop. She is an epic outfit. She is part of the Valenciaga fit set. She is reactive. She does come with a bag name called the Logo Lugger. So without further ado, guys, let's get this review started. So, Unchained Ramirez. Now, the Unchained Ramirez itself is reactive. She does react each time you do get elimination, her silver design does become gold, and she does come with a simple backing called the Logo Lugger. Now, Balenciaga is actually clothing that you could actually buy, but it's a little bit too expensive. They do have a collab with Fortnite outside of the game, which you could actually buy some of the gear, and again, it's a little bit too expensive. Now what I really don't get, especially with uh, Balenciaga and Ferrari, is that this game is catered to kids and I really can't see kids buying a $300 shirt or even a $1000 sweater. Now in game, even it's a little bit too pricey. The Unchained Ramirez herself is 1500 V-Bucks, which is a little bit on the pricier side. I do like the fashion statement she actually does have. Her pants are very cool. I do like the backing itself. I'm more, more of a simple kind of guy, so having a backing with just a regular backpack actually is down right in my alley. So the question we ask ourselves, is the Unchained Ramirez worth it? Honestly, I don't think the skins themselves individually, to some degree, are not worth it. There is a bundle for 1800 V-Bucks which I actually do think that they're worth the price tag in that regard but by themselves, mainly the Unchained Ramirez, um, I can't really recommend them. They are cool, the fashion statement is there but again it's a little bit too pricey. If you're buying the bundle, it's worth it but individually I just don't think it is. So what's my final rating for the Unchained Ramirez? I'm gonna have to give the Unchained Ramirez a 8 out of 10. Even though I do think it's pricey, I do love the skin itself. I do believe the Unchained Ramirez is one of the best ones you do have with all four skins. The selectable styles and reactive styles is very cool. I'm actually glad you could turn it off and on if you do please. And the backling, even though it is simple, it's going to go really good with a lot of outfits. So without further ado guys, let's get these combos started. Now for our first combination with the Unchained Ramirez, I'm going to have the reactive style for these combos off since it's easier to combo. Now the Unchained Ramirez, I'm going to be pairing it up with the Translucent Toad. Now we're going to be going with our Fashion Statement and the Translucent Toad just fits really well. She does have red lines on her pants and it just fits really well with the whole Fashion Statement. And then for the Harvesting Toad, we're going to be going with the Diamond Jack. Now the Diamond Jack itself, mainly the whole Harvesting Toad goes really well with the shirt she is wearing. They do have those red lines on top of the harvesting tote that does match the red from the tote and the pants. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the cash flow. Now it makes sense to actually have the cash flow as a control since it is just money flying from you and the Balenciana actually is very expensive. And then for the glare, we're going to be going with the flavored dusted sparkle wings. Now the flavor of the dusted sparkle wings actually matches really well with the shirt she is wearing because it is silver. And then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the sequin. Now the sequin wrap itself actually does look like the wrap that she does come with. Now the sequin wrap itself does have that silver design or chrome that goes really well with the shirt. Now for our next combination with the Unchained Ramirez, we're going to be pairing it up with the Ferrari Turbo. Now the Ferrari Turbo itself is a backlink that you could obtain separately in the item shop. For 400 V-Bucks, you do get a very slick design for the backlink, but it matches really good when the underneath sweats she does have underneath the pants. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with core flares. Now in this combination we are focusing more on the red and black color scheme of her pants which goes perfectly with the harvesting tool and the Ferrari Turbo backlink. Then for the contra we are going to be going with the zip ribbons. Now the zip ribbons itself are very universal and goes really well with the silver and black design. Then for the glider we are going to be going with the one shot. The one shot glider with the simplistic matte black finish just goes really well with the pants. Then for the wrap we are going to be going with the doom echo. And the doom echo wrap itself does have the bandages that are all black. Then you do have the little hinge of red which goes really well with the red aesthetics. Then for next combination with the Unchained Ramirez, we're going to be pairing her up with Coarse Toolkit. Now with the whole tool Coarse Toolkit itself just goes really well with the red and black design it does have. Then for the Harvesting Tool, we're going to be going with the Dawnless Driver. Now for this set, we're going to be going with the default style since I do believe it's the best one out of all the edit styles. Now for the Dawnless Driver itself, it's a very simple golf club that goes perfectly with the combo. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the glitch in the system. 
Now with this combination again we are focusing more on the black and red color scheme of the outfit which goes really well with the control. Now for the glider we're going to be going with the downshift. Now the downshift glider itself does have this simple chapter 1 glider design. It is black, it does leave a red control as you're gliding and fits really well. Then for the red, we're going to be going with the Sigil Red. Now the Sigil Red itself does have silver, black and red which goes perfectly with the outfit. Now for the honorable mention with the Unchained Ramirez, you could pair it up with anything that does have silver. Anything with like dark grays, blacks and even red is going to look really good with this outfit. Now for the back thing, the logo lugger. Now we're gonna be pairing up the logo lugger with Siren. Now for Siren, we're gonna be going with the default that is out. Now this combination just goes really well because Siren usually does have a very good fashion taste and you can easily really tell with the back thing combination. Then for the harvesting tool, we're gonna be going with the Snake Eyes Katana. Now the Snake Eyes Katana is just a black harvesting tool that does have red and she does have red even under her heels, so it goes perfectly together. Then for the control, we're gonna be going with the Sip Ribbons. Now the Sabre Ribbons control itself is just a control that is very simplistic but effective. Then for the glider we're going to be going the Crimson Wish. Now the Crimson Wish glider does have this very simple black and red color scheme that Siren does utilize. Then for the ride we're going to be going with the Hunter's Arsenal. Now the Hunter's Arsenal itself does have a very matte black finish. It does have red lights that do glow up as you shoot so it goes really well. Then for next combination with the Logo Lugger we're going to be pairing it up with the Marnello Racer. Now the Marinello Racer itself does have a very good fashion taste. The simple design of the outfit combined with the back thing just per fit perfectly. And then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Shadow Caliper. Now the Shadow Caliper itself is a very simplistic harvesting tool that you could obtain in the item shop for 500 V-Bucks. The black and white aesthetics of it goes perfectly with this combo. And then for the control, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. Now the Spectral Essence control itself does have a wind control behind you that goes really well with the simplistic design of this whole combination. And then for the glare, we're going to be going with the Best Card Umbrella. Now the Best Card Umbrella was obtainable if you did actually complete your Mandalorian LTM, you did have. And it's a very cool design of, for a glider that does have silver and black. Now the silver and black design goes really well with the white and black combinations of colors that both the backlink and outfit do share. Then for the ride, we're going to be going with the 8 ball. Now the 8 ball itself does have this simple design of black and white which goes really well with the outfit. Then for our last combination with the logo lugger, we're going to be pairing it up with ruby shadows. Now the simple stick design of ruby shadows with the black and white goes perfectly with the outfit and I can actually see her wearing a back thing similar to this. And then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the venom blade. Now the venom blade harvesting tool is a starter pack harvesting tool that does have an edit style of black. Now the simplistic design of it just goes perfectly with Shadow Ruby. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Storm Strike. Now the Storm Strike itself does have this very simple design of Storm Strikes hitting both hands and feet, which actually matches really well with the white aesthetics. Then for the glare, we're going to be going with the Wingspan. Now for the Wingspan, we're going to be going with the Zero Edit style since it does have our all black finish that goes perfectly with Ruby Shadows. Then wrapping this whole combination together, we're going to be going with the Boogeyman. Now the Boogeyman wrap itself does have this matte black finish that is very simple but effective with this combination. And for the honorable mention with the logo lugger, we're going to be pairing it up with outfits that do have a fashion taste and that do have black and white. Anything with the most simplistic style is going to look really good with this backlink. Now those were the 3 combinations I did find for the Unchained Ramirez and the 3 combinations I did find for her back the logo lugger. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe, I post videos of your favorite cosmetic skins every single day. And if you guys want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps, 2 D's, all together. Each time you guys use my code in the Amazon shop or the Epic Games store, I do get a small percentage of it and it really helps this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya!